If you were given two linear equations that represented two different lines, how would you determine if they were parallel, perpendicular, or neither? That's the focus of this video. These are the two main ideas. If two lines are parallel, they have the same slope. There's nothing special about that, literally just the same slope. Maybe a slope of two, slope of five, anything. The same number is their slope. If two lines are perpendicular, then they have negative reciprocal slopes. Okay, this seems a little funky, I know. All it means is, first off, it's a negative. So let's say the slope of one line was, uh, let's say we had a slope of n. If you remember, um, for linear equations, we use m as the slope. That represents the number that is the slope. If I had a slope of one line, let's say m1 was uh, 2 thirds, then the slope of a line that's parallel, or excuse me, that's perpendicular to that, would be the negative, so this one's positive, we would make it negative, so m2 would be negative, and then the reciprocal, if you remember, when we give you a fraction, let's say two-thirds, the reciprocal is you basically just flip the top and the bottom, so switch the numerator with the denominator, so it's negative three-halves. And these two, if I had a line with a slope of two-thirds and a line with a slope of negative three-halves, they would be perpendicular, okay? And that's all that is. Let's say I give you negative two-thirds, then you think, uh, maybe, but it has to be a negative reciprocal, okay? And I just showed these two uh, graphs down here. I put them down um, just so you could see what they are. Parallel lines, they never intersect. They go on forever and ever. If you've seen, if you, maybe if you're in the geometry course or a little bit of a more of advanced algebra course, you'll see that if lines are parallel, we put a little triangle on them. So a little better looking triangle than that. <laughs> but uh, that means that these lines are parallel. Now, if they're perpendicular, basically that means that they intersect at a 90 degree angle. So they create right angles. So that's what the graphs look like. We're not going to determine if they're, if they are per parallel or perpendicular just from the graphs. We're going to be solely focused on, uh, given a uh, a set of equations, we're going to see okay, how do we determine if they are parallel, perpendicular, or neither? And because it, it doesn't have to be parallel or perpendicular, it could be neither. So with this first one, I gave these all to you in um, in slope intercept form just because that's the main one. In the next video, we'll look at, given the uh, the standard form of the equations, how we do a little manipulation, and we can, we can figure that out from there. But this is just a basic intro to how do we determine if two lines are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. Okay, so with this, if you remember, the slope-intercept form looks just like this. It's y equals mx plus b, where m, again, is your slope, so the coefficient of the x uh, variable is the slope and b is your y-intercept okay so look at these two so pause and, and you'll go ahead and, and try these three out and then come back and we'll, we'll check it out and we're back <laughs> let's see uh so we have this first one if you look both of these have the same exact number on the x and everything is in slope intercept form so the m here is five the m here is five they both have a slope of five these would be parallel so i can either write that i'll show you the um the notation when two lines are parallel if i put like a line one is parallel you use two vertical bars to line two where line one and line two, i'll just call this line one this line two a little bit you're not going to use this notation but i just like to throw a little extra tidbits here and there <laughs> just because so with this next one take a look what do you think we have two thirds and we know let's pretend that we don't know this one right here let's pretend we didn't see that if i asked you okay two thirds the slope that's uh, parallel to that is the negative reciprocal. So first off, we'd have to make it negative. The reciprocal of two thirds is three halves. So if this slope has a negative three halves, or if the slope is a negative three halves, then that would be parallel, or excuse me, perpendicular. And hey, look at that. It's exactly what that second one is. So these two would be parallel. Line one, again, I'm just gonna say this is line one, this is line two. How that would look is line one is perpendicular to line two. And if you're in an algebra course, you're not gonna be writing this, but it's just another tidbit, <laughs> just to see. Now with this last one, what do you think? First off, 12 is not equal to negative 12, so these can't be parallel, okay? Now what about 12? If I was to say, okay, I have a slope of 12, I wanna know what line that's parallel to that, what slope would that have? Well, the reciprocal of 12, this is tricky because we only give you explicit fractions, like the two-thirds. Okay, obviously, I just flip them, three-halves. But remember, whole numbers, you can write those as whatever the number is over one. Okay, so the reciprocal of that would just be one over 12. So if the two lines were perpendicular, uh, if the one slope was 12, the other one would be negative one over 12. That's definitely not negative one over 12. So these are just neither. These are just, you know, they're, they're not going to look the lines that actually represent these are not going to look like that. They're not parallel. They're not going to intersect at right angles. They're just, you know, off somewhere in space, you know, they're going to intersect at some point, but they're special. <laughs> so, um, the first one we had parallel, 
perpendicular, and these last ones, they were neither. There's no special relationship between those two slopes. Okay, so that's the main idea behind how we determine if two lines are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. Okay, we just look at the slope. If it's the same, the two lines are parallel. If the slopes are negative reciprocals of each other, then they are perpendicular. And actually, I use the same fraction up here. That's, that's probably bad form, but you get the general idea. And again, we're going to push this a little further. I just don't want to make this video ridiculously long. <laughs> so we're going to progress in the next video to starting with the standard form and kind of moving it and putting it into slope intercept form to make it a little easier and then doing exactly what we just did. If you can remember these two ideas right here, these are the two main ideas. Remember that. If you can remember also what the reciprocal is, if you can't remember how to do that, you got to go back and, and look at that and get some practice with those. But again, if you remember these two, then you're good to go. So I hope you found this video helpful. And until next time, this is Justin with Top Tier Math.